What is up amigos? Today we're looking at whether Chile can be more aerodynamic than Croatia and we found out a few videos ago that Croatia is incredibly aerodynamic and we also found out that Barbados is incredibly aerodynamic. These are both beach paradises. Chile has a lot of beaches but is it necessarily a beach paradise or not? We don't know. And to be perfectly honest, Chile is probably best well known for having a land mass of 756,102 square kilometers and we have Chile here orbiting around. And we have the aerodynamics here. So let's find out whether it can beat Croatia or not. Now, interestingly, these cut planes show that the south and north parts of the country are very draggy. They produce a lot of wake. But the middle part, like around like just here, we can see that it sort of tapers down a little bit. And as we go downstream, it really funnels down and becomes not very aerodynamic or not very draggy at all. And this is a pretty cool plane. We can see it just cuts through the southern tip of Chile. And the northern part is not really cut through at all. But we still have a fairly big wake coming from there. The southern part really blows out a lot. So we have a lot of wake, even though we don't have a lot of land mass down in this region. And Chile is probably better well known for being that country that is next to Argentina. And Argentina, in turn, is also known as being that country next to Uruguay, which then makes Chile referred to as that country which is next to that country which is next to Uruguay. And now we have the Y plane going through almost the entire length of Chile. And it produces quite a big wake from the longitudinal point of view. But from the sides, it's not too bad. You can see like as you go further down, it doesn't really make much of a wake there. And the tip of the southern tip of Chile doesn't really blow out much in this region. Let's take a better look with some Z planes. And this is really cool. So we have a Z plane through the southern part. And we're seeing something that we don't see too often with a lot of countries. We see this von Karman Street happening and it's very distinct here. The reason why we don't see it with a lot of countries is because a lot of countries are very blocky, which then results in a lot of other flow physics occurring, more three dimensional effects. Because Chile is so long and skinny and a little bit curved, it is very um, conducive to producing this von Karman Street. It's a very two dimensional flow going around it. So it's not a three-dimensional wake, it's more two-dimensional here. That's why we get such a cool crisp von Karman Street, which we don't get very often at all. And in this plane, we can almost like conclude that Chile is streamlined because here you see the wake, like the blue bit, is very straight. It doesn't wobble around very much. That only really happens when you have a fairly streamlined flow. And because even though we do have quite a big wake, it indicates that Chile here is quite streamlined. And I can tell you as well that the liquid oxygen of Chile is only minus 0.009. So in other words, nothing is within error. Chile does not produce any lift. And now these two higher planes show that there is now this wobbliness again. So that's what we saw in this in the first cut planes. Why we had that part in the middle that was so small is because that part in the middle of Chile, like the really the middle um, geographical region, is very streamlined, whereas the top and bottom of Chile are much more... Um, wakey they're not they're much more bluff but what is the drag coefficient let's see if we can beat croatia oh it's 0 0.99 it's not great but it's not bad it's third at the moment that's pretty good only barbados and croatia are beating it at the moment let's see what will happen in the future so that's in this video if you like to make sure to like it and if you want to check out croatia there dynamics check out this video here and i'll see you in the next video peace out amigos